All right, we're going to get started with looking at proportional relationships today. I want to come back to this problem right here from yesterday so that we can um, kind of relate what we're doing back to that. Um, find the unit rate. So let's look at the unit rate here. So we had miles per gallon. So we had 256 miles to eight gallons, and I wanted to know how many miles per one gallon, okay? When we cross multiply, I told you that the difference in seventh grade and sixth grade um, proportions was that we had to write an equation and then solve. So the, the equation itself is kind of what we're going to be looking at today and talking about the equation, because we don't, not only do we have to write the equation, but we have to look at it in different forms. So we start at the variable eight, x times eight is eight x. And 256 times one was 256. So our focus is gonna be right here, looking at that equation. <clears throat> that equation is written and it has some very, um, specific values, okay? We're going to flip this around. I'm going to flip that around. And then we're going to label it. This equation is actually called the equation for proportional relationships. And it is labeled as Y equals K X, okay? And this is kind of where we're gonna be today. We're gonna be talking about how to identify a proportional relationship, okay? This is a proportion. We've already determined that this is a proportion because it is two equal ratios. We cross multiply and we get this equation, which is Y equals KX, okay? So I want to come over here and I'll talk to you a little bit about the, what is K? What is K? Well, K has a lot of different um, ways that you can say K. You're gonna see problems ask you to tell K in a lot of different forms. K is, um, so we're just gonna talk about the vocabulary right here first. K is your constant of proportionality. K is your constant of proportionality. Um, one of the things that um, I have told my kids in the past is we have spelled the word constant with a K. So we have spelled it with a K. So instead of writing the word constant out with um, a C, we would do this. Well, I, I'm just going constant of proportionality. The constant of proportionality is K. K can also be referred to as the rate of change. K is the unit rate. We have already determined that from what we did yesterday. K is the constant of proportionality. It's the rate of change. It's the unit rate. Um, we may come back and add some more to this because for some reason I think there's one more vocabulary word that I keep leaving off of there. But I want you, this will be something that we will constantly be constantly be referring to because you're going to see K referred to in every one of these formats, every one of these ways. A problem might ask you for the constant of proportionality. It might ask you for the rate of change. It might ask you for the unit rate. And no matter how you see it or how it asks you, it's always going to be asking you for 
this number. Um, it's going to be asking me for this number right here. And so now we're going to look at in our graph, I mean, in our on the other side of this, we're going to look at what does K look like in these different forms? Sorry. What does K look like in these different forms? What does it look like in a graph? How do I know, how do I recognize K, the constant of proportionality, the constant rate of change in a graph, in a table, in um, an equation? We're gonna start over here with equation. So I want you to write everything that I am writing. Um, make sure you are getting all of this on your notes. So we're gonna start over here and talk about the equation. The equation for K, the equation to find a proportion, the equation to know if you have a proportional relationship will always be Y equals KX. That is the equation. There is no addition. There is no subtraction. There's no division. There's no addition. No subtraction. No division. Okay? So if you look, these are all examples of, of the equation for a proportional relationship. All of these are written as y equals kx. y equals kx. y equals kx. A, pro a proportional relationship will always be written y equals kx. So those are all examples of a proportional relationship. Okay, so these are all examples, and I'm just going to write examples right here. These are all examples. So I'm gonna sh and I'm going to kind of shade that green. <clears throat> I'm just going to have to move this paper around on here. I will post a picture of the whole thing once I... Get it done. Now, while we're here, let's go ahead and we're going to identify K. We're going to circle our, our K right here in that equation. So, if it asks me for K, then where is that? Well, it's right here. K is that 7. So, in that one, K equals 7. In this one, K equals 2.5. And this one, K equals three-fourths. What does that mean? That means that the unit rate, when you see this equation, when you see this equation right here, that means that the unit rate is seven. It means that the rate of change is seven. It means the constant of proportionality is seven. Right here, the unit rate is 2.5. Right here, the unit rate is three-fourths. Okay? Now, down here, we have non-examples. So these are non-examples. These are non-examples. And they're non-examples because K is written Y equals KX. And so this is a this is an addition equation. That's subtraction. That's division. We will never have addition, subtraction, or division. So these are all non-examples, so I'm going to kind of just shade those as a non-example. I should not have circled that in red. That's bothering me. I'm going to come back up here and circle these in purple. All right, so these are examples. All right, so that's all you have to know to, in order to identify K in an equation, okay? So now let's look at a table. How do I decide if K, what is um, K in a table? Well, in a table, 
we have to have a constant rate of change. Y is going to, in a table, you've got to have um, a constant rate of change with your Y values, okay? So, let's talk about just a table in itself. This one is labeled X and Y, so that one's pretty easy. Here's your Y values, here are your X values. Over here, though, let's remember that a table is labeled X, that X always comes before Y. It comes before Y in the alphabet, and it comes before Y when you're doing a table. It comes before Y when you're looking at ordered pairs. X comes before Y, okay? It's always on the top or to the left. Now, so in order to determine if we have a constant rate of change or if we, it, the question's going to be, is this table proportional? Does this table show a proportional relationship? Um, is a proportional or not? Is this proportional or not? Well, the way you're going to determine that is you're going to come and write these values as y over x. We're going to determine k. We're going to determine k. We've got to see what k is. If k does not change, then we have a proportional relationship. I am making a mess. I am throwing stuff everywhere. It don't make sense. So, here we go. So, we're going to come right here, and we're going to determine k. We're going to... Well, I say we are. I am not having... We're going to determine k. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to write y over x. Now, look at what we're doing. We're writing y over x. Y over x. I'm going to have <clears throat> So, y over x here is 8 over 2. And 8 over 2 equals 4. We're just going to do that division. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 16 over 4 equals 4. 24 over 6 equals 4. And look at there. This is K. So in this table, K equals 4. So this table does show a proportional relationship. That table does show a proportional relationship because this, this right here says yes. It is the same for every value. K is the same all the way down. Y equals X is the same all the way down. So this table is proportional. All right, so let's put that on here. That one is proportional. K is the same all the way down. Okay? So let's look at this one. So right here, we're gonna determine K. We're gonna determine K, so let's do it. Eight over two, Y over X is four. 15 over four, well, 15 over four, 15 divided by four, would be nice if I knew where my calculator was. Oh, sweet love of God. Here it is right under my nose. 15 divided by 4 is 3.75. Well, we can stop right there. We don't even have to do this other one. This right here, that right there says no. That says no. That is not proportional. That is not proportional because K is not the same. This is not proportional.
It is not proportional because it is, because K is not the same. Uh, K is, it doesn't have a constant rate of change. It doesn't have a constant of proportionality. Um, let's write that on there. K is, um, that is not proportional because it has no constant of proportionality. No constant of proportionality. All right, let's look up here. Let's do these two. We, we've got a couple of different, I wanted you to see tables written vertically and horizontally so that um, you could, you know, just as a quick review of tables themselves. So right here, we want to determine, is this a proportional relationship? Does this table show a proportional relationship? The way we do that is we're gonna write y over x. So y over x is five over one, and that's five. Two over 10 is five. Three over 15 is five. Four over 20, y'all, I just, that's 10 over two, 15, oh Lord, forgive me, over three. Do you see how quick that can happen? I wrote that X over Y just as pretty as you please. I'll go back. That's 10 over 2, 15 over 3, 20 over 4, and 25 over 5. You've got to write it Y over X, Y over X. But that being said, all of these equal 5. All of those equal 5. So we have a proportional relationship. I'm sorry, y'all. I am not awake this morning. I meant to do this yesterday and lost track of time. 15, so all of these have a constant of proportionality. This is, yes, it is proportional. Because it has a constant of proportionality. K is the same, all the way down. K is the same, all the way down. Let's look at this one. This one is five over one equals five. 10 over three, 10 divided by three is 3.3 repeating. Well, we can stop right there because it does not, this right here makes that table not proportional. This right here makes that table not proportional. That one is no because This one is not proportional. No. Yes. That should be a T, constant. And this time I'm gonna say rate of change. No constant rate of change. All right. And that's how you determine whether or not you have a proportional relationship in a table. You can determine in an equation if it's written y equals kx in a table if it has a constant rate of change or a constant of proportionality. And now in um, the easy one, now the easy one are graphs. In a graph, how do I determine if I have a proportional relationship with a graph? Well, two things have to happen. Two things have to happen. One, that it must pass through zero, zero. Which is called the origin. But that is zero, zero. It's got to pass through zero, zero. And the second thing is, it has to be a straight line. It has to be a straight line. 
for it to be a, a proportional relationship, it must pass through zero, zero, and be a straight line. Well, looking at this graph, does it pass through zero, zero? Yes, it does. Is it a straight line? Yes, it is. So, yes, this shows a proportional relationship. Okay. Look at this one. This one starts right here. Here's zero, zero right here. This is the origin. Does this pass through the origin? No, it does not. So this is no, it is not, because it does not pass through the origin. Which is zero, zero. Okay, look at this one. It has to meet both criteria. It's gotta go through zero, zero and be a straight line. And again, this one is a no, because it's not a straight line. It's not a straight line. So it's gotta pass through zero, zero. It's gotta be a straight line. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you determine whether or not you have a proportional relationship with an equation, a table, and a graph. This is gonna come together a lot better as we start to practice. You're gonna get a practice paper in just a minute um, that you're gonna do. Well, actually, I'm going to um, go ahead and you're going to get a paper that you're going to actually do that you're going to do with this graph. I mean, with this, with this, and then we're gonna come back and do some more practice tomorrow, and then just kind of keep moving through this and practicing it um, until until Christmas. So I will see you. Um, just get all your notes. Have a great day.